Good afternoon, everyone. I'm up here in Hanover, Pennsylvania. I just picked up a bunch of groceries because we're going to be hitting the road tonight on a camping trip. You jumped out of my dreams, pretty eyes so wise and pristine. I couldn't ask for more than the day you came to my door. Open eyes because I couldn't believe that you were right in front of me. Feeling pushed right through my heart. Fireworks lit right from the start. Got me on cloud nine. I have to make one more stop though because this Walmart no longer carries the Belgian waffle mix that we like to use. Even though they had it a couple weeks ago, I didn't see it on the shelf, so I've got to drive up here to Giant, and hopefully they have it in stock. Um, anyway, check out that fifth wheel. Cool beans. Man, it is packed. There are so many people out on the road today. I don't know if everybody's decided to leave for the long weekend today. I don't know, but it's really, really crowded out. Lots of campers on the road. Uh, there's look, looks like there's a Class A right up there, a couple cars ahead. Uh, but anyway, it is 4.06 right now. Michelle is getting off of work soon, and then we're going to go up to the camper, load it up with the groceries. But i got to go back to the house and get my clothes all packed up. I didn't do any of that. Get some camera equipment packed up. Get my computer packed up. But uh, yeah, looking forward to it. The first camping trip since the deer disaster. I'm actually a little bit concerned about driving in the evening because of the deer. Uh, not that the accident happened in the evening last time, but um, yeah, it's just kind of kind of nerve-wracking to think that there's deer out there wanting to destroy the camper and the truck. Um, nah, just. Just kidding, but anyway, uh, yeah, so um, looking forward to it. It's a long drive. I'm hoping that we can stay over somewhere tonight uh, on the way because even though I said in the live stream the other day that it was we're just going to camp somewhere close by, I didn't want to give any hints to somebody that might have been on the live stream. Uh, anyway, all right, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Good evening, everybody. It's been a while since I uh, chatted with you guys, but we are on the road. We've got the camper in tow, and we are approaching the Chesapeake Bay Bridge, and uh, it is almost 9 o'clock at night, and we're hitting traffic, which is not good, because <laughs> we still got a little ways to go before the bridge. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, I'll get back to you guys shortly. so yeah that was the Bay Bridge but they did a lane split without a warning and everybody was freaking out so we thought the traffic was gonna get really bad um, but no actually I don't think we've ever shown video of this bridge at night heading over to the Bay uh, to the Eastern Shore of Maryland so yeah this is uh, this is the Bay Bridge at night it's fascinating it is fascinating, yes. Look at it that way into the, the black abyss. Abyss, not abyss. <laughs> fascinating. Is that thing floating out there? Just keep your eyes forward. We have arrived at our destination for the evening. It's very quirky. Very quirky. Now the lighted panel. There it is. Okay. Now I've got to find my check-in information. There it is. There's the rig. Camp is all set up. It's not delivery. It's frozen pizza. <laughs> so this is dinner tonight. Got the oven going. Uh, it is 11 o'clock. 
I gotta get this in the oven. Check this out. Well, it's not Max or Gills, but it'll do. Good night, guys. Good morning, everyone. What a beautiful evening it was last night, and it's actually a beautiful day. I think we went down into the 50s last night here. No air conditioning needed. Um, so yeah, it was really nice. Nice and quiet, except for the noise that you guys can hear. Well, the truck's going by the highway. That's Highway 13 in um, near Pocomoke City. I don't know what county we're in. Maybe Pocomoke County, if there is such a thing. I should know all the counties in Maryland by now. I've been here all my life. Uh, anyway, we are at the Lake Somerset Campground. Very nice place to stop coming from where we live down to uh, Cape Charles. It's kind of midway point. Uh, I really wish I had the time to do a full walkthrough. Uh, I don't think I've ever done a full walkthrough of this campground, but we've got to get on the road so I don't have time. But I'll just give you a quick scan of what it looks like here. This is the, the little quote unquote lake that they have here in the center of the campground. Uh, right up there is the front office. This is our site right here. It's site 9. Uh, these are all pull-through sites. We paid $45 a night, which I think is very reasonable. It's full hookups. Um, there is a $15 refundable deposit for the key card for the gate. Uh, we got here late last night, and they had it pinned up on that board that I showed you guys last night. Very, very nice people. Uh, operating the facility here. They have some water sports stuff that you can do over there. I believe there's some cabins somewhere. That's the main bathhouse right over there. Uh, those are probably seasonal sites over there. There's a little miniature golf at the front of the, uh, as you pull in. Uh, I think, I even think they give like pedicures and manicures and foot massages up there, I think. That's a very small little general store, but they're very accommodating. Uh, it looks like those are tent sites over there. Or no, those are uh, cornhole. Cornhole sites. Oh, that's interesting. So they've actually got some cornhole boxes set up. Whatever those are called. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so yeah, this is, this is where we stayed. Uh, we're going to hit the road. We're going down to Cape Charles KOA for one last time uh, for oh, quite a while probably <laughs> we're going to meet with Kim and Dave of the wonderful weekenders we're really looking forward to seeing them we haven't seen them since last October I think um, so yeah boy what a beautiful day that hurricane passed by or what was left of it left lots and lots of rain and flooding and uh, tornadoes uh, in its wake in Maryland, North or New Jersey, and uh, Pennsylvania, New York. <clears throat> Good morning, babe. <laughs> She's got the trash. She's taking the trash out. Trash. Yeah. Um. Anyway, everything went very well with towing last night. The truck did fantastic as usual. No issues. Knock on wood with the camper. Um. So yeah, it was. Uh, it was. Good. and it was quick getting in here these sites are very long they're not super wide oh I wanted to tell you guys we did have a problem once again with the power though we were hooked up to 50 amp <clears throat> and it was registering okay as soon as I would turn the 50 amp breaker on in our camper it would kick off the uh, surge guard would kick off and say it was a faulty ground as soon as I switched over to the 30 amp dog leg uh, or excuse me dog bone <laughs> it worked fine so something's wrong with their 50 amp there uh, every time that's happened to us we've at the campgrounds we've gone and, and when they have fixed it they've done something on the on the boxes and it's fixed the problem so i'm gonna have to notify them at the at the office that there's an issue with this site um anyway uh this also comes with obviously a picnic bench there is a <clears throat> fire ring right there that one's a little bit nicer than this one but it is what it is. <laughs> uh, so that's, yeah, that's about it. Can't wait to get down to Cape Charles. It's going to be a fun couple of days down there. It's Friday. We're going to be down there until Tuesday morning. So we've got 
four nights. Yeah, four nights. Mm, the pines smell wonderful here. Reminds me of Dillwyn, Virginia, whenever I smell pines like this. Uh, the place that we used to go mine, there were pines everywhere. They, they farmed them down there. All right, well, we'll catch you guys on the road. Maybe or Cape Charles when we get there. We've got one stop. We've got some things that we have to pick up that we um, forgot. So, you know, the typical routine. We're always forgetting stuff when we're out. All right. Everything's looking good. My wife is a chicken That's what she is. It was a little gnat and she no. freaked out. Yes. <laughs> Go get that out of the bed of your truck. It'll blow out. I won't. Michelle is throwing the trash away. Just like two little things. Need a ride, lady? guys we are set up at Cape Charles KOA Chesapeake Bay KOA we're gonna go over to Dave and Kim's now Kim does not know that we're going to be here at least I don't think she does so it's kind of a surprise uh, anyway see if we can get a reaction out of her a good reaction okay that's their campsite right there on the very end she was outside when we pulled up there's peppermint. I think she may have seen us. We'll see. Hey, can we get some pictures with these famous YouTubers? Hello. Oh my God. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> I'm so glad to see you. Oh my goodness. Hi. Hey Dave, how's it going? What a surprise. She. <laughs> I thought maybe she would have seen us coming in. She didn't. I'm so uh... glad to see you. I looked right at the camera and I just saw you know, and I just. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad to see you. Oh my God. Okay, so we're back from the grocery store again, and we're sitting here watching Kim and Dave from the Wonderful Weekenders, and this is their vlog from this morning that we haven't had an opportunity to watch yet. It's kind of hard for you guys to see. There's a very bad glare on the TV, but it doesn't look like that in real life. So I don't know. Anyway, it looks like they're a Cherry Stone campground. And we're getting ready to cook some dinner or something. Michelle's making drinks over there. Hi, everybody. Guess what we're getting ready to do? Oh, Eat they're eating. That's right. We're actually here with our friends, Val and Rob. That sounds good. It sounds like it's time to eat some dinner, Michelle. I'm starving. Say hi, folks. So Dave is cooking dinner. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Got some beef fillets. Mmm. Some chicken tenderloins been marinating for two days. Oh wow, they smell so delicious. Mm. I love this griddle. If I could fit it in the camper, I would take something like this with me. <laughs> that looks and smells delicious. Kim, I was told there's food in here. Yes, we got some fillets, chicken, potatoes. Cabbage, 
pineapple upside down cake. Oh yeah. That looks good. I hope it is. I had to fight with it in this dang <laughs> confection oven and a salad. Now you said cabbage. Is this like just cabbage cabbage? Just cabbage cabbage. Okay, and not like sauerkraut or no, anything? No, no, just regular old cabbage. Okay. Yep. <laughs> cool. But yeah, whenever you guys are ready, you can go on in. All right, thank you. You're welcome. The puppy's here. You See just, the puppy? You just want to get Yay. Salad. You want a salad? Okay, sorry. Puppy. I you said no. Check this out. It looks delicious, Dave. <laughs> Thank you very much. I got steak, I got chicken, I got potato, I got salad with Catalina dressing, and I've got cabbage. I've not had cabbage in a very long time.